welcome to some more definitions of polygons. Last time we found lots of different shapes at the supermarket. I hope you've been noticing them around you. Let's have another look at all those shapes. Shapes are used in arts and design, in buildings, for signs, in craft work, and even in nature. From looking at all these shapes, we then figured out which shapes were polygons and worked out a definition for those polygons. But there's still a little work to do. By the end of this lesson, you should be able to identify and draw in the diagonals of a polygon, identify convex and concave polygons, identify a regular polygon. Are you ready for another definition? Let's have a look. Here we have our diagram WXYZ. Do you know what this line XZ is called? I'm sure you remember that this is a diagonal. In this diagram, WY is also a diagonal. Let's take a look at the pentagon we named ABCDE in the last lesson. Can we call the line AC a diagonal? Not sure, hey? Can you see that we need a clear definition of a diagonal before you can answer this? Read this definition carefully. The diagonal of a polygon is a line segment that connects two non-consecutive vertices. Non-consecutive just means two that are not following straight after each other. Look carefully at this diagram. How many diagonals can we draw from vertex B? We've already got one drawn in, which is BE. Is there another? Yes, it is drawn from B to D. Now, a polygon can also be named according to where its diagonals lie. A polygon is called convex if no diagonal is outside the polygon. Look at the polygons in this diagram. Look at where the diagonals lie. For each polygon, all the diagonals lie inside the polygon. Each polygon is therefore convex. Now look at the next diagram. The red lines join non-consecutive vertices of the polygons, so they can be called diagonals. Now, focus on the diagonals of this polygon. This diagonal extends outside of the polygon, and in this diagram, the diagonal extends also on the outside of the polygon. Can you see what these polygons are called? We know by definition that these are not convex, but do you know the opposite of convex? These two polygons are called concave. They kind of cave in at these points. A polygon is concave if at least one diagonal is outside the polygon. There may be many diagonals on the inside of the shape like this. And here. But if any have to go on the outside of the shape, then it is concave. There is no way of joining these two points without drawing a line on the outside of the shape. You are doing so well. I hope you found this all both easy and interesting so far. Now, I want to introduce you to just one last definition that we will keep using as we explore quadrilaterals at a later stage. In a polygon, if all the sides are equal and all the angles are equal, we say that it is a regular polygon. So these shapes are regular. Look at this octagon. All the sides are equal to one another and all the angles are equal to one another. Therefore, it is called a regular polygon or in this case, a regular octagon. Now, 
if a polygon is not regular, that is, where all the sides are not equal or all the angles are not equal, then we say it is an irregular polygon. And so, this is an irregular octagon. The polygon is a two-dimensional closed shape or figure. The line segments are joined endpoint to endpoint. Each line segment is called a side of the polygon. And each endpoint where the sides meet is called a vertex of the polygon. And two sides that meet at a vertex create an angle between them. We defined the diagonal as a line that joins two non-consecutive vertices. We looked at the difference between a convex polygon and a concave polygon. And we looked at an example of a regular polygon. We also named polygons using the information we had about their sides. Do you still remember the names we gave to polygons according to the number of sides? Number one, draw a diagram of any convex polygon. Number two, explain how a concave polygon differs from a convex polygon. Number three, using a diagram or words, show what is meant by a regular polygon. It is important to always use the correct mathematical term when you are talking maths. So until the next lesson, keep looking for shapes and go well.